Hi, and welcome to the Electronics and Programming Beginner's Guide. Uh, before we get started here, I just want to put the question out there. Uh, what do you think of this new top-down format? This is, uh, I'm doing this with my new tripod, which allows me to mount the camera uh, vertically and out of the way, so it's a lot easier to work around the table. I was just curious how um, you're enjoying this. Please uh, let me know in the comments down below. So what I wanted to talk to you about today is uh, how do you program a, a microcontroller out of circuit? And uh, why would you wanna do that is a, a pretty decent question. And uh, imagine you've created some sort of uh, a project, you know, this is just kind of an, as an example, it's not related to anything. And you know, you have a dip a uh, package processor, you have it plugged into a breadboard and everything is hunky dory. You take, you know, you bring out the, the programming lines, which in this case there, this is the, the programming header. And you've got your project all set up, everything is hunky dory. Well, now you wanna put it on the board. And let's say you design a board, but you know, the board is let's say this big because that's how much space you need to put that processor on using all through whole components and your project works great. Everything is perfect, but now you want to actually try and sell this project. And for that, you know, dip and through hole parts are kind of difficult uh, to work with, particularly if you want to try and mass produce it. So you go to a surface mount parts and what you find is if you're using like a, let's say a, a picket programmer, uh, this header now becomes one of the largest things on your board. So to really get it miniaturized, oftentimes it's necessary to dump the programming header. But now what the problem you have is that you have a component on the board that you can't really program. How do you get around that? Uh, there's usually one of two ways that you can do it. Uh, there are a few others, but I'm just gonna focus on these two. Uh, the first is uh, companies like uh, DigiKey, uh, for example, uh, probably Mauser and Newark do it as well, is they allow you to use a programming service. And that's when you order you know, uh, a microcontroller from them, you can uh, send them a hex file and they can upload it to the microcontroller. And I honestly haven't priced those out uh, because usually they're, you know, uh, on the price inhibitive side. And so the other way is using a, a special programming adapter. Let me show you. So now you've got your board uh, miniaturized and you can see I, this particular board, I got it down to be quite tiny and, you know, it's uh, about the size of my finger. Maybe yeah, if I go like that, it's about the size of my finger. And the package you see on here is an MSOP or uh, MSOP, as some people call it. And it an MSOP is a very, very tiny, tiny uh, microcontroller. And hold on, let me grab the tube here. These are the microcontrollers that you know they fit right there. And they said these things are minuscule. And the way you can program these out of circuit is using one of these. Let me see how well it shows up. This is a MSOP to dip eight. I don't know why they call it that, but this is an MSOP eight. And this is a special holder that you can drop the chip into, which then breaks all of the pins out down here to something that's reasonable to work with. This adapter, I got it on eBay. They make these for a bunch of uh, different uh, uh, pin styles and packages so that you can get these for a lot of different microcontrollers. And something to note is something I've added is if you look down here, between pin one and eight, I've added a, uh, this is a, I think a, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And you always wanna have a decoupling capacitor as close to the processor as you can get. And so uh, now that I have this, oh, sorry about that, now that I have this uh, uh, programming adapter, I've got these wires here and these wires come out to something that I can plug into the picket here. And let me go ahead and do that. Uh, pin one is the, pin one is the brown wire. Do, do, do. Uh, 
I know very exciting stuff plugging things in, but it's a necessary evil like that. So we have now have it plugged into our Picket 3. Like that. And you can see this little circle right here shows you pin one. And now what you can do is get a microcontroller out of the little sleeve here. Oh, the side is easier to... And of course I have to dump them all out. I'll gently slide those guys out of the way. I'll put those back in the tube later. And now we have this microcontroller here on the side. It's, it's very, very tiny, but you can see that little dot here, which is pin one. And if we look at our programming adapter here, if you push down, it's kind of spring loaded and you can see those little jaws will move out of the way. So now that the jaws are out of the way, you can go ahead and load the chip into it like that. And when you let go, those little jaws will clamp down onto the pins of the processor and allow you to interface with the chip. Now, assuming that everything has gone correctly, I have my, uh, you know, I'm going to put a picture in picture and have a, a, the microcontroller showing you down here. And uh, this is the software for that particular microcontroller that I've put together. And we've got our uh, picket here, uh, you know, plugged into the board. And we're going to go ahead and program it. and the software built successfully and now it's connecting to the uh, picket. You can see the output down here. The device was detected, erased, programmed and verified uh, completely. And now that the processor is programmed, I can go ahead and uh, release it from the clamps here. Gingerly get, oops, of course I drop it gingerly get that out of there and I can go ahead and go through and program the rest of my processors. Uh, this processor, as I mentioned, this is a MSOP 8. Uh, you can get these kind of uh, programming headers as I'm calling them, but you, there's a bunch of different names for them. You can get these in a bunch of different packages. Uh, this is a MSOP. I believe you can get, uh, let's see here. You can get these in SOIC, you can get the, uh, well, in a dip, it doesn't particularly matter, but very, very useful uh, to have. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you're uh, always welcome to comment uh, down below. And uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to let me know if you like this kind of uh, top-down uh, view with the new tripod.